What is going on there, citizens of the Reject Nation? We are about to do a first time watching for a film that has been recommended our way quite a few times, and that is Tommy Boy. And I am joined by my great, great friend, fellow reject, Salamander Sally, Sally LaMonico, all the way in the East Coast. Sally, how are you? I'm great. Heck yeah. <laughs> That's exciting <laughs> to hear. Now, listen, we got a couple things to mention. First off, please leave a like. That really helps out this video quite a bit. Secondly, um, Sally, I want you to use this opportunity to plug what you got going on right now. I mentioned it on our community post, but I want you to talk about it really quick. Why, thank you, Gregory Alba. You're welcome. So I've been a fan of Spider-Man forever, even though I've been doing the Marvel movie marathon. I've never missed a Spider-Man movie. I decided to make a Spider-Man fan film from the perspective of Mary Jean Watson, courtesy of the Real Rejects fans. It wasn't my idea. It was your guys' idea like six years ago. <laughs> we are doing an Indiegogo campaign to raise the rest of the money. I've shot four scenes already using my own money. We are just asking for a little help. If anyone would like to donate, I'm sure the link will be in the description for the campaign. And there is a teaser trailer based off the four scenes that we've already shot. So that's my little spiel. <laughs> it's looking great. So if you guys want to go contribute, it would be uh, really appreciated. Even on my end, I would appreciate it too. And Greg might be in it. I don't know. Uh, right. It might be. Who knows? We'll uh -huh. see what happens. Uh, so Spider-Man was already taken, so I don't know what role could be left for me. Anyway, uh, <laughs> we're going to move on to Tommy Boy right now. Very, very much uh, thematically in tune with Spider-Man. And yes. as always, uh, full-length reaction watch-alongs where you sync up with your own copy for Tommy Boy available for Super Sexy Rejects. And over there, we cover exclusively many shows with reaction highlights and watch-alongs included. Sally, you ready to rock this boat? I am so ready because I love both of these actors. I can't wait to laugh my butt off. Buttocks off. Buttocks off. Tommy, hurry up. You're going to be late for school again. Lauren Michaels from SNL. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, actually, he was probably on SNL at this time. Damn, Tommy boy grew up rich. Late again, Tommy? Richard? You're late too, buddy. <laughs> Hurry, Tommy. This is like Spider Man trying to catch the bus. <laughs> that is like Spider Man. Whoa, he grew up in like a second. <laughs> Runs pretty fast for a big guy. Honestly, he's killing it. Is he hitting his head against the- Ouch. <laughs> Ugh. This brings back memories. Alfred Hancock? Herbie Hancock. <laughs> <laughs> D plus? Oh my god. I passed. <laughs> That's college for sure. I'm gonna graduate! <laughs> I wish we'd known each other. This is a little awkward. <laughs> I'll probably go back and work at my dad's loading dock, like always. I love all you guys. Especially you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that one dude looked really nervous. Yeah, he, he like panicked for a second. <laughs> So where's my dad? I thought he was going to meet me at the airport. He was at the airport this morning, but you weren't on the plane. Yeah, I guess you should have called. I did call earlier. Yeah, when was that? Or later, when then... <laughs> did you hear I finally graduated? Yeah, and just a shade under a decade, too. All right. <laughs> oh, that has to be you. Oh, my God. You know, I have never grown up on Chris Farley. So really? A lot of this feels very different to me. And maybe he's like two SNL sketches of Chris. He's Marley. very over the top, but that's like his thing, you know. Hey, would you mind not eating in the car? It's kind of a rule. <laughs> hey, what's new with the old gang from high school? I don't know, Tommy. I didn't really like the old gang from high school. You're a stiff David Spade. Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> Tom, you're talking about a huge loan. Maybe instead of borrowing, you should take on a partner. Oh, no, no, no. There's always has been, always will be a family firm. My grandfather founded it. 
21. My father kept it running during the Depression. <laughs> My son will run it. Hey, Dad. Tommy! <laughs> <laughs> hey, look alive, low bridge. Oh, Ouch. oh my god. Damn, he sells those really well. Yeah, he does. Hey, what is this thing? It's a buffer. I take all films that need smoothing and give them a quick zap. Can I try one? Help yourself. Uh oh. <laughs> nice distance. Help me! <laughs> Everyone is a bad enabler here. But he knows their names. This is awesome! I, I need fresh capital for material, for a new workforce, before I can turn these machines on. Look out! Oh no, what have you done? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Let's go. Yes, sir. At least his dad loves him. Yeah, good son. That's my name. Yeah, that's your new office now, college grad. Hey, there's even a fridge. This is great. You can put six packs of soda in here. <laughs> <laughs> you can put candy bars in the freezer. Anything that you want to keep cool. Anything that you want to keep cool. <laughs> it's called reading. Top to bottom, left to right. Group words together as a sentence. Take Tylenol for any headaches. Might all for any cramps. It's weird seeing David Spade play such a straight edge. Yeah, it's true. He feels like a real character. Yeah. <laughs> For, is that Rob Lowe? <laughs> oh my god. It is. <laughs> Holy shnikes. Whoa, are you sure it's not your stepmom? <laughs> are you Tommy? I'm Tommy. This is an uncomfortable situation. I got an announcement to make. Tom, I've uh, I've asked Beverly to be my wife. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> What'd she say? <laughs> <laughs> He's coming here today for the wedding. Tommy, oh, but my son is going to be your new brother. I'm gonna have a brother. It's like stepbrothers. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Oh, oh my god, that scared me. <laughs> brother? I'm Paul. You must be Tommy. Brothers don't shake hands. Brothers <laughs> gotta hug. <laughs> I'm surprised that's not a meme. Brothers At least not what I've seen. <laughs> that's very you, Greg. <laughs> if I sent a picture of your mom to some of my buddies at school, She'd definitely be boner of the month. Uh, Perfect. Which one you want? Huh? Huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> is this your first time? Yeah, Tommy, it is. You're going to remember this the rest of your life. Can't believe you've never been cow tipping before. Oh, what? You put your shoulder into her and you push. And they fall over. <laughs> Ready? Hey, hey. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah! Hey, get off my property! Run for it! Run for it! Those look like real cows. They are real cows. It's <laughs> scary to film that. Yeah. I love like, you! I love can't trample. you! <laughs> <laughs> Me, my turn. Over here. These shoes are Italian. Do you wash it off with gasoline? <laughs> this order's going to Columbus. It's a one-day delivery, but you've got it marked down for two. Georgia, not Columbus, Ohio. Maybe you should go back to college for another seven years and study a globe. Oh, that's messed up. Michelle Bra, Chaparral High. Oh, yeah, I remember. I sat next to you in history. Hi. <laughs> remember your brother, Dwayne? We used to go to Safeway all the time and get caught trying to steal donuts. <laughs> He's a cop. <laughs> I'd better not. Uh, I have what doctors call a little bit of a weight problem. I used to grab bear claws as a kid, two at a time, and I'd get them launched right in this region here. How about some coffee? <laughs> I'd love some. He's so endearing. I don't know how, but he is. <laughs> I know, yeah.
He's got a real boyish quality about him. Yeah. Something about getting old and, and being alone. Dad, it's cool, you know? I just want you to be happy. Richard seems so jealous of Tommy. Yeah. I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. Yeah, lay one on her. I know you want to leave me, but I refuse to let you go. So this is what it's like when you get to attend your own wedding party. Oh, no. <laughs> Inside joke, people. You don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> this movie couldn't be as entertaining as that, I promise. Of course, I could get a hell of a good look at a T-bone steak by sticking my head up a bull's ass, but I'd rather take the butcher's word for it. Damn, that's some serious business. Hey, mama, don't you treat me wrong. Come and love me, baby, all night long. Testify, Tommy boy. Testify. Oh, oh, whoa. Is that him really singing? I don't know. I, I'm i still in shock this is happening. That's like great. Wow, he's really just nailing it. Oh, uh, what? Dad? Somebody call 911! It is like your wedding. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry. Damn. <laughs> That's tragic. That's a good transition. When things get too good in movies. <sighs> Even though Tom is gone... He'll remain in our lives forever. Oh my god, was he poisoned? Oh, I didn't think about that. I was thinking Rob Lowe did it to get the money or some shit. Yeah, he looked like a psychopath, that's what I was saying. Oh, Richard actually feels oh, bad for him. That synth is getting to me. That took such a turn. <laughs> what the hell? Just wow. Happened? <laughs> they were right in the middle of a musical number. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. <laughs> what happened? I'm sad for him. <laughs> <laughs> He's just a lost boy. I know. No one told me we were watching Schindler's List. <laughs> I'm going to really miss him. Your father was a great guy. Yeah. Oh my God! Why am I crying? <laughs> this is not that serious. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's sad. It's just sad because he died of a heart attack in real life. Yeah, it's true. You ain't moving. Need a little wind here. No, you need to drop a couple hundred pounds, Blimp. <laughs> <laughs> Rascals. I guess that's your theory. I just realized the boat was like. <laughs> Really low Watch on his your side. language in front of the lady, punk. <laughs> God. Hey, Dilligan, did you eat the skipper? I'll come over there and jam an oar up your ass. Ooh. Those guys keep interrupting us. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> There's a fat whale on your boat. Yeah. Listen up, you little spazoids. I know where you live and I've seen where you sleep. I swear to everything. <laughs> Marry that woman, Tommy. Yep. <laughs> She's the one. <laughs> His face. That was awesome. <laughs> oh, this movie has more of a heart than I expected. I know. Frank, if we sell while our value is still high, everyone who owns stock in this company stands to make a lot of money. That, of course, includes you, Mrs. Callahan, now that you and Tommy are the primary shareholders. Mm -hmm. If this factory goes under, the whole town goes under. And that's when the f come in. <laughs> <laughs> and laying their trick money down, $20 to pay the rent. Maybe instead I'll spend it on the <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> I'll give you everything I've got. My house, the stock... Then will you give us that loan? You just want to hand over your inheritance? Right. My dad said the new pads were the future, Callahan. But who's going to sell them? I will. Oh, you got this time. Just running around doing their little behinds. 
<laughs> Once during the war, I visited a prostitute, and my life has been a living hell ever since. I don't know much about this stuff, but he does. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. That's right. Richard knows more about brake pads than anyone in here. Oddballs. Bad idea. I don't think anyone could help Baby Huey out there on the road. Do you have a better suggestion? Cut him right to the chase. See, I thought if he was jealous of him, he'd want to be promoted. So. Ew. Ugh, I can actually <laughs> hear you getting fatter. <laughs> <laughs> so what are the three grades of Callahan brake pads? Personal, commercial, and uh, agricultural. And what is our carrying charge for all the merchandise in the warehouse? One and a half, half percent. I knew that. Why can't I remember it? <laughs> <laughs> Person uses ten percent of their brain. How much do you use? One and a half percent. The way he nods, yeah. God. He's like four and 40 at the same time. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'm ready. Hey, does this suit make me look fat? No, 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 your face does. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, it's sale time. So remember, we don't take no- No shit from anyone. <laughs> <laughs> take no for an answer. Oh yeah, we don't take no for an answer. <laughs> we don't take no shit from anyone. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okie dokie. <laughs> no. Gotcha, thanks. <laughs> Maybe. I, I'd just like to add that the spectrometer readout on the nickel cadmium alloy mix indicates a good rich strobe and fade, decreasing incidence of wear to the pressure plate. If you could just. Whoa, little fella, uh, you're not speaking my language. Yeah. You lack relatability. Mm, yeah. Our new brake pads are really cool. You're not even going to believe it. Let's say you're driving along the road with your family, and you're driving along, la la la, woo. And then all of a sudden, there's a truck tire in the middle of the road, and you hit the brakes. <laughs> now let's see what happens when you're driving with the other guy's no, don't brake do pads. It. You're driving along. <laughs> <laughs> Yelling from the back seat. I gotta go to the bathroom, Daddy. Not now, damn it. No. Truck tire. I can't stop. <laughs> oh. <gasps> no. What have you done, Tommy? You were so close. Me screaming. Oh my God, we're <gasps> burning. <laughs> oh my legs. In comes a meat wagon. Woo. Oh no. You can see Davis may try to keep a straight face the whole time. New guy's in the corner puking his guts out. <laughs> <laughs> Because you want to save a couple extra pennies. <laughs> and to me, it doesn't <laughs> get out. Do you validate? No. <laughs> <laughs> that escalated beautifully. Yes. Hey, Chief, could you tell me how far it is to Davenport? 22 miles. Okay, I can't find it on this map. Well, get yourself a new map. <laughs> no, son of a... Just reverse the car a little bit. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be on the map, Davenport, I mean, because you say it's 22 miles <laughs> away. And you're really smart. <laughs> it's like cow tipping. Oh, my God. That's map of Illinois, which we're in, on the border of Iowa, which is where Davenport is. 22 miles away. You're in the wrong state. Get yourself a new map. He was right the whole time. Hey, why don't you pump any gas? They're all out. They only got diesel. Better go to the next station. How do you not notice his door? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, no! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Matty, I'm that popsicle. Ow! You want to act like a baby, I'll treat you like one. If you want to act like a big boy. Oh, ew. Uh, uh, what? Oh, no, they were not daughter uh, and son and mom. You won't have the company. Yeah, it's too bad he didn't leave me any cash. You talk to the banker? Yeah, unfortunately, your stock isn't worth it until they sell the place. But that moment is rapidly approaching. Dang it. So they didn't kill him? So they are mother and son? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. 
I'll see you, Michelle. Okay, see ya. Catch it. Yep. You find them out. You won't sell squat. <laughs> Tommy saved the factory. That's a laugh. Oh, oh my god. No. <laughs> Brake pads work? Fascinating observation, Greg. Maybe if you didn't lean over to insult me, you would have seen it coming. What are we gonna do? We can't just leave it here. <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? Hey, what's your hurry? You know that thing in the back seat? It's not an air freshener, it's a dead rotting deer carcass. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing business with Callahan since I hung out my shingle. But I don't like you. Probably never will. <laughs> Unhappy little man, and you treat people like they were idiots. Yes. <laughs> Before I decide to keep my business with your place, I'd have to come by and have a look at your new operation. Hey, I tell you what. You can take a good look at a butcher's ass by sticking your head up there. But wouldn't you rather take his word for it? That's not... That's not... Jesus. <laughs> Forget it, I quit. I can't do this anymore, man. No, Tommy. My whole life sucks. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where I'm going. My dad just died. Tonight, if I drive down the road, I want to jerk the wheel into a goddamn bridge in Buntman. We'll be in touch. Guys. <laughs> this is interesting. Can't believe he called me a psycho. Hey, were you in there just now? You are a psycho. Good God. And comb your hair. Yeah, well, I wouldn't say you did much better. Thought you were so. Yes, the deer lives. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think you tried to bite me! Oh no. <laughs> wow. They used a real deer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But that was awesome yeah but sorry about your car man it, it sucks yo richard that's your fault yeah you hit the deer. <laughs> he was like it's not my fault i was like then who hit it it's the guarantee that i make to the american worker i want your truck to help you get the job done it's like a ghostbusters commercial we haven't made one sale which means we only have to sell about a half a million brake pads in the next 10 days or else the factory's going under. And the one guy that should care about all this, you doesn't. You doesn't is not a sentence. And he does care. He's just stupid. That guy in little coat. Don't. <laughs> that guy in little coat. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? Hey, get off the kid. I'm serious. Richard, what's happening? <gasps> See, that was coming. <laughs> what was the point of that whole scene? All of his properties being destroyed. <laughs> the side eye. Yes. <laughs> 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 oh, baby. I love you. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's like actually them. <laughs> the brakes work. Congratulations. I'm not my dad. That's right, you're not your dad. He could sell a ketchup popsicle to a woman in white gloves. I learned everything I know from him. I didn't have a father and he looked out for me, but you. There it is. Hey, I'm Big Tom's son. He'll fix everything, so I'm allowed to be a moron. That's it! Jesus. 
Put the gloves on. Come on, give me your best shot. I'll give you a free one. Let me have it. <laughs> Captain Limpress, try again. <laughs> Buddy, is there a window open? I feel a draft. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's really easy. Let him do it. I would have called your mother. Oh, oh, man. oh my god. <laughs> songs are a character in the movie honestly i thought i hit you on the shoulder my shoulder doesn't hurt very much but my face does right here <laughs> boy some chicken wings would really hit the spot you sure it's closed yep it's closed Ooh. <laughs> let me tell you why i suck as a salesman Let's say I go into some guy's office. Let's say he's even remotely interested in buying something. Well, then I get all excited. I'm like, <laughs> pet is my possible sale. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love my little naughty pet. You're naughty. <laughs> oh, I killed it. <laughs> God, you're sick. I'll go turn the fryers back on and throw some wings in. Oh my god, he made the Aww, sale. He persuaded. He did it. Hey, you got the wings because you were relaxed. So you had confidence. Your dad had that. He was the best at knowing what people wanted to hear and what people needed to hear. That's what selling is all about. In a way, these people are buying you, not just brake pads. Yeah, it's true. They buy into you. Mm -hmm. You got to get people to pity buy. Yeah. Move them emotionally. Lady. Son, if you're not talking about a guarantee, skip it. My customers need to see that little label looking them right in the eye. Hey, you can get a good look at your butcher. Don't you? <laughs> you figure you put that little box under your pillow at night, the guarantee fairy might come by and leave a quarter. Am I right, Ted? Huh. How do you know the fairy isn't a crazy glue sniffer? Building model airplanes, says the little fairy. Well, we're not buying it. He sneaks into your house once, that's all it takes. Next thing you know, there's money missing off the dresser and your daughter's knocked up. I've seen it all. <laughs> oh, my God. Because they know all they sold you was a guaranteed piece of shit. That's all it is, isn't it? Hey, if you want me to take a dump in a box and mark it guaranteed, I will. <laughs> you might want to think about buying a quality product from me. Okay, I'll buy from you. Oh, well, that's... What? <laughs> <laughs> what would be good for us? I hate this. I guess I don't know if they're actually right. <laughs> They're not. They can't be. I know, but it just... What does every factory need? Trucks. They make stuff, they've got to ship it. It's a must. Stop the trucks. Stop Tommy Boy. I prefer if they're mother and son. Yeah, I can't picture them as lovers, honestly. She's like I tried 80. really hard. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. See, psychopath, don't. <gasps> Not good. Car. <laughs> <laughs> he was gonna shoot that dog. I knew he was psycho. Oh, Mama Sita. Is Homeboy about to pleasure himself? It's naughty time. What? what? This is a public. I'm back. What were you doing? I'm going over some documents. Uh, <laughs> awkward. You knew it. Hey, that's a pretty girl down there. Good for her. Jeez, I wonder if she goes out with one of the Yankees. <laughs> what a random bit. <laughs> it's uncomfortable. <laughs> Who's your favorite little rascal? Alfalfa, or is it Spanky? Thinner. Sinner. <laughs> oh my. Yes, I like what I hear. Yes, sounds good. By the way, did you ever eat paint chips as a kid? Oh my Jeez. god. I'm okay. So you can see the mark on the window. Like <laughs> yeah, that's impressive. Yeah. He hurt himself for our benefit. For art. Tommy, that's fabulous. Your dad never sold a thousand in Oshkosh. Uh-uh, not since I've been here. It's 
It's not about where you come from, Greg. It's about what you do with it. She maybe. Oh, uh, what is that? Ugh. Ew. That's so gross. They're screwed. What the? Richard, can you run and pee at the same time? Yes, it's very, it's physically possible, Sally. <laughs> okay, I wasn't sure. I think you can too. That'd be cool. Uh, <laughs> Not that I'd ever be in that situation. So uh, let's make a new video. <laughs> let's, let's see what we can do. <laughs> TikTok hack. <laughs> this guy's gonna be a human deformity by the end of the movie. It's giving like Home Alone. <laughs> How yeah, messed up right? can he look by the end of it? I just wanted to tell you that Tommy's been talking a lot about you recently, and well... God, he's so sweet. You have no idea how much it means having you and your mama's family. <laughs> <laughs> well, between that and the sweetness, I'd say hang on to it. Oh, la la. I'll skip in you one towel. More towels need sleepy. I'll skip in you one mint for pillow. Please go away, let me sleep. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guess what? I just called Auto Tech and they decided to make an order. That puts us over the mark. Yes! Oh, Richard, I'm so happy. Hold me. <laughs> Don't run away from your feelings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at them getting along. Mm hmm. Your shipments got screwed up in the computer. The wrong parts went to the wrong cities. Now all hell is broken. No. Don't believe it. God damn it, Roblo. They worked so hard. 6 p.m. tomorrow, well, I'll be unemployed. Ugh. It's not too late. No. This is just the all so is lost tight. moment of a movie. They're going to turn it around. We faxed you our shipping addresses, didn't we? Yes, and they were right when I put them into my computer, I swear. How could... Maybe if you weren't such a rebel, you could avoid... Well, don't worry, because I've quit, so you won't have to put up with anything anymore. Mm. Oh, no. Hi, I called about a ticket to Cuyahoga Falls. Her name's Brock. Right, that flight's going through Columbus. Let me just call that up for you. <gasps> mm-hmm. Ew. Excuse me. Gotta get them on the Jerry Springer show. <laughs> Don't you know we can get busted for that? I'm sorry, I did not know that. But right now we got a bigger problem. That is? Beer's coming back up. Oh, Lord! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. Cops! Damn it, Richard! The whole car smells like beer. They're never gonna believe I wasn't drinking. When I stop the car, run out screaming. No problem. I go, gonna make it seem like it was something else. Yeah. Beast! Beast! Oh no. Jamie, roll around on the ground. Forget that, I'm starting to swell up. <laughs> I'm allergic to bees. Me too. They're huge. <laughs> we go to Chicago, tell him we're not for sale. He seems like a good guy on TV. He'll understand. Yeah. You're dreaming. Yeah, right. You got this, Tommy boy. We're screwed. No tickets to Chicago. Not even standby. There's got to be something we can do. No. You got any money? Because I got a plan. You're going to fly the plane? Oh, my God. What a nice surprise. They said we were going to be shorthanded this leg. You two take coach. Oh, and could you handle the announcements? Okie dokie. Oh, no. Although, what are the odds of us actually hitting a lake? My money says, if anything, it's going to be a mountain. To inflate, put it around your neck and yank down on the tab. <laughs> oh, my God. Impressive. This is stressing me out. <laughs> Ew. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy. Ew! 
I'm okay. I'm I'm fine. I'm fine now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That looks painful as an actor. <laughs> Whoa, look at this place. That's massive. He is the king. Where is he? Where is he? <sighs> Listen up, this will only take a second. Oh no. He <laughs> surrendered. The what? <laughs> Sir, what exactly happened here? He came out of the shadows behind me. And after he hit me many, many times, and I. <laughs> I had to give him my gun. You know, I've got kids. Huh? Jesus. <laughs> Callahan's a premium name. That's what I'm buying. I can make the parts in one of my factories, put them in a Callahan box, and sell them in my stores at a premium price. Wow. Mm. So much production. I was going to say, like, there, there's a lot of stunts. What? There's a lot of... <gasps> oh, my God. What a reveal. <laughs> Don't feel bad. This chain of events was set in motion a long, long time ago. You and your bald-headed friend here, you did what you could. <laughs> Poor guy. Mrs. Callahan. Sir. Hey, sir. Trust your... What? No. My so-called family deserted me. Michelle's mad at me. I lost the factory. The town's going under, and I'm out of a job. Damn, yeah, Could have done without that. <laughs> <laughs> When we first started out, I thought you just walked through this like you walked through everything else, but you didn't. Your dad would have been proud of you. And you got a friend out of it. Now, I know it doesn't matter because you have so many, but uh, I don't. Oh. It's like SpongeBob and Patrick. Do you guys know John's really bald? What? <laughs> he wears a toupee? <laughs> yep. <laughs> really? No. <laughs> Oh. The airport. I was going home and I saw your Crazy. stepbrother and your stepmother and he was kissing her. So? With his tongue. Oh. So. <laughs> they lied to my dad? They're con artists. They suckered him. They lied to my dad. What is the plan here? Light him on fire. <laughs> He's going to blow up the building. <laughs> Sorry, boys. Hopefully, we'll just be in and out. Oh my God, he's wired. Oh. And uh, no cops. Wouldn't want things to get messy. That, I didn't really <laughs> see that coming. That he'd pretend to be a terrorist. My, your hands move quickly. Only when I see something I want, Mrs. Callahan. Ooh. That's so gross. Look at this human bomb on the news. Oh, yeah, I buy brake pads off him. I thought we were watching cartoons. <laughs> <laughs> right now, those workers are in danger of losing their jobs. I'll be happy to look into it. I can get a good look at a T-bone by sticking my head up a bull's ass, but I'd rather take the butcher's word for it. He nailed it. <laughs> this is an order for half a million Callahan brake pads to be sold in your stores. Made by the American working man for the American working man. Hmm. Smart man. It would be my great pleasure. I mean, what have I got to lose? A great American product, right? Beat him at his own game. You lost your shares to Jeez. the bank. You don't even have a right to be here. Gee, funny you should bring that up. Because I'm not sure that you have the right to be here. Oh. Yes, get it, girl. How could Beverly be married to Paul and my dad at the same time? <laughs> what I think it means is your marriage to my dad was never legal. Which also means that Beverly's share still belong to Tommy. Yes, I believe that's right, Mr. Riley. I'd say that's right, Mr. None of you guys seem surprised at all I'll, by this revolution. Yeah, I was like, um. Damn! <laughs> Don't let him leave the complex, Marty. Screw all of you! <laughs> Oh my oh god, oh my god. god. Ah! No Wait, what? They're gonna murder someone on ah! Why? Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Wanna step over to my club and we'll grab something to eat? Jeez. Thank you. I'd like that. <laughs> She's gonna get away with what? this. Feels <laughs> oh great, Tommy. Thanks. Way to go, Tommy Callahan. Kiss her. Do it! Aww. New president of Callahan Auto, Tom Callahan Jr. He went from Tommy Boy to Tommy Man. Ever since I was a kid, you people have been like a family to me. Lewis, we built our first fort together. 
RT, I lost my virginity to your daughter for crying out loud. <laughs> <laughs> I just want you to know that as long as I'm around, I'm going to bust my butt and make sure that every last one of you always has a job right here at Callahan. Thumbs up. Dad, got a little problem here. I've been stuck out here for an hour with no wind again. I'm supposed to be at Michelle's for dinner. So if you could give me a little help, I'd appreciate it. If not, don't worry about it. Is that a mermaid? <laughs> it pushes the boat. I still love you, and I sure miss you a lot. Mm -hmm. Me. Paint with all the colors of the, <laughs> of the wind. <laughs> I was thinking that, and then you said it. I love it. Thanks, Dad. Dad's Pocahontas. Oh, son of a... That's gonna leave a mark. How cute. Oh, that was a sweet film. That was a sweet film. All right, now let's do an Easter egg breakdown, hidden details, all the things the audience missed, Sally. Take Same it magazine. away. All right. Um, first of all, the tone, <laughs> <laughs> it really let's start with the tone. <laughs> let's start with the tone. Um, no, I think, uh, it's bizarre to me that this worked because, well, Chris Farley is such an amazing actor and like, I know he over, that's his thing is he goes over the top, but, um, I don't know. Like you can. There's like a quote that's like it doesn't have to be realistic. It has it just has to be believable. And I think he just nails that to a T. Like even though none of it's really realistic, he's just so believable. <laughs> like his eyes just it's I don't know. <laughs> he's so intense, but it works. Yeah, he's very committed. Uh Yes, yeah, that's what yeah, very committed. I mean, I love these kind of wackadoodle zany comedies, you know, and, and the especially these 80s ones that Tend yeah. to have like a road trip vibe, and you you pair up people where like one's high energy, the other's low energy, and then you watch as they morph into friends by the end of the film. And I like that, and there this had the like vulnerabilities a, come out. Yeah, yeah, and I, and you know, like like I said, I, I I didn't grow up with Chris Farley. You know, I feel mm. like if someone who grows up, with Chris, and so I'm not I'm not I've, I've seen like two sketches of his from SNL. It's one of those classic sketches, so I don't. I was like familiar with like kind of the you know the the, the slapstick um, physicalities that he would do, but I've never seen him in like a full blown performance. So to have this sort of introduction to uh, his work here, he he has this an endearing childlike quality that makes a character it was like there are lines that he makes funny that normally wouldn't be funny, but he finds exactly a way to they'd make be him cheesy funny. or like bad but he somehow still nails the delivery on it yeah he's got great delivery and he's he's he manages to bring a high level of energy backed with a yeah. surprising sincerity in the way he says things so this movie is one of those films that surprisingly works because this could easily have just been very annoying and frustrating <laughs> to sit through but i was like mm -hmm. no this is funny and this has a really good heart and uh, while it, yeah, it's like it's it is cartoonish and sketch like, but yeah. it's still a, a real film at the end of the day. With a, still with had a, a storyline, story. it still had villains. I mean, it still had like the classic formula to like a good movie in this during this time. But yet, you're right. There were like scenes that kind of just felt like mini sketches. Mm -hmm. um, but that's I think just like what the audience would have wanted from them being on SNL. Oh, I think like the kind of movie it is and the kind of movie it was, especially from back then, it sort of makes sense. And Lauren Michaels uh, producing this film as well. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. You, you sort of expect that. But it still it still goes above and beyond to have uh, some good messages and character growth. He literally goes from like Tommy Boy to Tommy Man by the end of the film. There was a full character arc, guys. For both I him mean, and David Spade. Both of them. Yeah, because his that that whole scene when he is learning about the sales, I actually thought that was really clever. Where you, they do have a good something that's kind of surprisingly poignant about how you know in life a lot of people, a lot of times in life people feel a little bit held down by how they performed in school. You know their their formal education, but there's yeah. so much more to succeeding in life 
uh, you know, based off of uh, how you feel internally, who you are as a person, developing confidence, developing street smarts and people skills like that usually can outweigh so much of an academic experience, not to discount an academic experience, but that is something that's very important. But it doesn't define you. Exactly. So I thought that was a surprising Great message. Good, yeah, it's a surprisingly good message. And, and for, for the boy who comes from such a wealthy family, who's a very spoiled and got and everything given to him, he, he managed to truly find, you know, even though people, you know, people clown on him and stuff, but it, it was still like a real underdog story where you find yourself sort of rooting for this buffoon, which I was surprised by because it could have easily, like I said, it could have easily just been an annoying movie, but it, it didn't amount yeah. to that. And David Spade was... His pay was good too. You know, it's like he, when you step into a role like that, you're 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 aware that I can't compete with Chris Farley. So that's right. Yeah, I'm here to support Chris Farley <laughs> when you're doing. Because if they were both like super over the top, I don't think it would have worked. You know, but like the fact that David Spade played it pretty straight the whole time is kind of what made it funny. Yeah. Um, because you're waiting to see how he'll respond and like how he'll react to Chris to you know Tommy. Uh, Chris Farley's character. He still had some funny moments, though, that uh, I, yeah. I still think that he... There's some good deliveries and stuff, but I thought the he way the friendship... He had some great insults. <laughs> that's the spade for you. But the, I, thought the, I thought the way their friendship um, formed felt natural. And it's also nice to get kind of a... I don't know. You know, normally in, in, in comedies nowadays, everything feels so like such high-stakes comedy, especially with the buddy movies. Usually have like yeah. some kind of action element involved in them now too. I yeah. noticed, and to get a movie plot that's about, you know, the simplicity of saving a family business, and, but it's like you're going into all these, these this talk about stocks Intricate and cars, details. Yeah, yeah, automobile industry. <laughs> it was so specific. Like it seemed like they really had to know what they were talking about to a certain degree when making this film, and yeah. I was surprised by, like this is. I've never really seen a movie that deals so much with with this whole I think, industry. I, I think that's what grounded it because I, that might be why it's such a classic comedy movie because like it is very different. But you're right; it's all very like it feel like I forgot I was watching a movie when it was they were having the scenes about you know like the business and everything because I'm just like oh yeah like I was like genuinely trying to like <laughs> listen to everything and you believed like even all the extras like looked like it, it legit looked like uh there's some movies you watch where extras look like extras you know what I mean yeah definitely. Like, but um like they look fake people like a fake town or whatever but they genuinely look like a real like small town you know like they could work in a factory and i think that helped too it, yeah weirdly really well done i i don't know what i was expecting but like the production value on this was was actually really good i was surprised by that there were so many sets and animals and real car yeah. shit. They come like, wow, they really and, use locations. <laughs> yeah, the is... deer the deer definitely was like a probably a puppet, maybe even with one like that that quick scene of them like when they were about to hit it looked like a slight animatronic. Mm -hmm. Um so and and then after that it was like a real deer. So I was like, whoa, like I didn't at this was obviously before like good CGI. Um so they had to get really creative, but it, it weirdly made it seem more realistic, and I, I enjoyed that. It was kind of fun. Even the moths. I was just, like, so fixated on that <laughs> in the scene, staring at it. Because I'm like, I know those aren't real moths, but they looked like they were all flying in that corner. I'm like, how are they doing that? Um, yeah, I don't know. Isn't that weird that we're so used to CGI that, like, I just, like, really hyper-focused on that? Wow. Yeah, no, that was very... I, I was... I'd find myself thinking about those things too, uh, especially for a movie yeah. from the '80s where you feel like they would want to go a little bit cheaper. But I'm like, they threw down for this movie. They did. They, they really things did. Things to look real, and, and and I and I like the, I just like how they they really seem like they mapped. There's a lot of vi there's a lot of good visual comedy in here, and mm -hmm. but you know it's all like every, everything goes back to Chris Farley at the end of the day in this film. You know. Yeah, and, and I don't think anyone else could have played this character. There is such a child, there is such like a wonder in his eyes, and there and, and like as, as high octane energy as he is. Like, I really feel like sometimes a, per an en a personality like that can be a little off putting, and yet yeah. he's so charming, <laughs> you know. And I think that I don't know how he does it, I really don't because I feel like any other person that would try to play that off would kind of come across creepy. Like, how, how are you like? How do you look like a toddler, but then also like have a childlike wonder, but then also you, you can act like an adult? Like, it's just kind of 
it's a fine line, but he yes. he nails it, and that's why he's a legend. <laughs> Let's. Uh, I'm gonna read a couple of facts for you. Oh, okay. I I just pulled these up right now because I just thought this was interesting. Rob okay. Lowe played the supporting role of Tommy's stepbrother, but is uncredited. The reason for this is because he wanted it to be a happy surprise after the script shifted focus. Because um, the film was originally centered around the relationship between Tommy and Rob Lowe's character, Paul. So, for some reason, he wanted it to... He asked to not be credited? That's a weird thing. Huh? I don't know. But apparently it took... Was that a w- weird way of him being like, I don't want to be a part of this movie? No, <laughs> like, no, no. I credit. think he wanted it to be some surprise for some reason. I don't, so I don't know what the surprise is for, though. But anyway, yeah. That's interesting. Hey, check this out. I've- I've never, well, first, I, I've just never watched Rob Lowe in something where I was, like, creeped out by him, but, like, for some reason, he creeped me out in this. He's done some creepy things in real life, too. He's a, he's a questionable person sometimes. Oh, or, I read his book, but whatever. Oh, you read his whole book? Yeah. I I mean, it was, it was I never read it. It's okay. <laughs> <but> it's like, <laughs> so, all right. On the list showing the exam grades of the students at the beginning of the movie, look at okay. the bottom. Uh, this is when he, got his, when he gets his D+. Plus. Right. One of the names is Helen Keller, who scored an F. And to the right of uh, Helen Keller is Michael Jackson, who also got a D plus. Isn't that interesting? Whoa. Uh, whoa. Okay, I got a long one for you. <laughs> During filming, <laughs> David Spade and Chris Farley got into a physical altercation on set. There's a whole explanation to hear. Oh, there were times they just really didn't get along. Really? Wow, that's surprising. Apparently, there was some shit that happened where they where they didn't get along. Interesting. Whoa, but I don't it, think I would have picked up. I didn't pick up on that at all. So they're great actors. I mean, they've worked <laughs> together again, and and they've they've definitely had a, an, a, an endearing friendship over the years. Buried but, the hatchet. But, but yeah. during this film, apparently, they didn't get along a lot of the time. Maybe sometimes when someone's that big of a character your initial reaction could be to get annoyed you know yeah. um if you're not used to working with someone like that so i'm sure he probably just wasn't used to working with him so closely for Did, that long what happened this is gnarly I know. okay here we go i'm gonna read this super quick pay attention sally pay attention as they Laser landed focus. in toronto on an early sunday morning after doing snl in new york farley was not feeling well so he went up to his hotel room spade not thinking about it, had called up Rob Lowe and they went out to a bar for a drink. Farley found out the next morning and had become very jealous and throughout the morning would angrily stare at Spade and repeatedly ask him, how's Rob Lowe? Spade tried to explain and reminded him, word off the wire was that you were sick, but Farley wasn't hearing it. Later that day, they were about to shoot a scene. Spade was sitting on the ground, eating a tuna sandwich and going over his lines while Farley, smoking a cigarette, was still just staring and asking him, how's Rob Lowe? Spade was getting annoyed with him at this point. Farley then went over to Spade and stomped on his hand with the sandwich in it. Oh, my God. Spade responded by throwing his Diet Coke on him, to which Farley threw Spade into a wall and pushed him down a small set of steps. Before things got too violent, the walkie-talkie called action. They quickly composed themselves and walked in the set. Then when it was time for Spade to say his line, he couldn't speak, so he stormed off set into the trailer. The director called cut, and Farley went off to his trailer too. Spade refused to continue filming with Farley. Farley was so mad that he needed to hit someone, so he tackled the director's assistant, Skippy. The pair would sometimes go for hours without talking to each other, they would talk to each other through the director. That is insane. Rob Lowe, you tear up a friendship on set. Something you tell beautiful. Tell me apart, Lisa. Tell me apart, Lisa. <laughs> I didn't know. I mean, okay, so he had an anger issue. That makes sense. Yeah, 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 definitely. But they're, they're, they're... Do, Is he still a legend, though? Do, should I take that back? Who? Chris Farley. Chris Farley's, of course, a legend. Okay. Well, I, would, I don't know. You, like, assaulted people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, back then, there are two men. People wouldn't cry over something like this. It'd be like men fighting. That's what happened. That yeah, but I've fallen down stairs before. It is not fun. Eh, it was a small set of stairs. Just small. Yeah, you're right. 
But he was completely <laughs> he was completely sober during addiction, though. That's crazy. Uh, during filming, I mean, he was completely, he was completely he was sober, sober during, during addiction. addiction. He was completely I'm, sober during addiction. And I was filming. like, huh. <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> but he developed a coffee addiction filming this movie. Oh, wow. There's some that interesting makes, things. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, that's where I got his energy. I thought it was all natural. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. There's a lot of facts here. There's so many to go over. I'm going to become obsessed with learning everything about Tommy. Well, did Boy. the movie do well commercially, at least? Or did it flop? Uh, I mean, I know it's a. Because I know now it's a cult classic box office hit uh it did okay i guess it did well and uh, yeah, yeah it did well it profited okay yeah um but it's more considered like a cult classic more than anything else. yeah but all right yeah that was a fun uh, film what it's on was... was it on paramount plus this whole time no 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 i would have i have paramount plus all right i don't have paramount plus so well yeah i mean i have it's like it. the one i don't have God. i use it once a month not even a show just like oh apparently this thing is i forget i have paramount plus i get a lot That's... of subscriptions through my amazon account because you can like link up so right. I'm, I'm always like, ah, oh, I forgot to cancel Showtime. Like, that's my life. Is, uh, oh, I've it. done that before for school. That was annoying. But uh, here we are. All right, Sally. You well, what? what do you give it out of 10? Um, You know, an ex-boyfriend of mine. We were seeing each other, and he was mad that I hadn't seen this movie, and that's why we broke up, so I give it... I'm kidding. <laughs> well, kind like of a half. healthy relation. No, I'm kidding. I mean, he was kind of mad. So something about this healed me, you know? It it closed the chapter for me, so I'd give it a, I'd give it an eight out of ten. Perfect. Pick up that phone. You call that man back. I'll call him and you let him and say, "Hey, I finally watched it. You've grown up. Are you free to watch another movie?" <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is there a Tommy Boy too? <laughs> I don't think so. Probably not. No. All righty, guys. Well, check out Sally's. If you've made it this long, you're a good person. So check out Sally's <laughs> Spider Man Kickstarter. Did you sneeze? You sneeze and you fart? What was that? No, I laughed. Sorry, I, I kept coughing. And I know that you said things a few times I cough, but like I'm still getting over this awful virus. So. <sighs> Shame on you. I apologize. Shame on I you, know. Sally. I know. Well, Fits guys, support Sally as uh, she needs this charity for the hospital visits. <laughs> so. How do I? Yeah, I was about to say, how do I sell this? Do I say I'm homeless? <laughs> Um, to say, <laughs> a homeless person trying to make a fan film. God I'm damn trying it. to make Help a fan out. film here, guys. <laughs> this is going to be my big break because I can't profit off of it because it's copyrighted material. That is true. That is true. You're doing this with the kindness of your heart. I all really am. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll talk with you soon. Sally, thank you for gracing us with your wonderful, lovely presence. Thank you for having me, Greg. It was great laughing with you. Peace out, Reject Nation. Peace out. <laughs>